Hi, my name's Carrie Parker. I'm with the City of League City Code Compliance Department with Neighborhood Services. Today we're out here to discuss topic of the season, grass. It's that time of year where we have to maintain the properties to keep League City looking beautiful. With it being the wet season and this time of year, one thing we want to emphasize, whether it be commercial or residential lots, it's imperative that lots be maintained properties again with residential commercial to be 12 inches or lower. Part of our discussion also is it relates to the city ordinance and it comes to weeds and grass. This is a perfect example of what a vacant lot with cleared trees would be. In the ordinance it states that it's supposed to be 50 feet from the right of way as well as 100 feet off of any developed areas. This is what a vacant, cleared lot looks like without trees and how it should be maintained. When it comes to residential lots, in the city of League City, it's important that all residential lots be maintained to be 12 inches or lower. As a reminder, after you're done mowing, we'd appreciate that you please do not dispense or to blow any leaf clippings, any grass cuttings, or anything else into our storm sewers as it does go into our city waterways. A question that we get a lot of times into our department is from citizens asking what is considered a city right-of-way. A city right-of-way is anything that could constitute as far as utility poles, such as the one above us, the tall utility poles, in this situation that extends across the major thoroughfare. That basically would be from the utility pole all the way to the inside up to the street edge is what would be considered the city right-of-way. Another instance that we would have what's considered a city right-of-way is going to be what your sidewalk is. So anything from the sidewalk all the way to the street curb is what is going to be considered also city right-of-way. That to which is still the city or to the citizens' responsibility to mow and maintain the right-of-way, whether it be sidewalk to street or whether it be from utility all the way to curbside or street is also the responsibility to the citizen of League City. An example of a property that's in violation is this vacant lot. It's a vacant lot cleared of trees, but it needs to be, in order to meet the city code, it needs to be cleared and maintained 100 feet from the developed property, and then it needs to be maintained and cleared 50 feet from the roadway. Another question that gets asked as it relates to the roadway and the city right-of-way and the maintenance of, it doesn't matter, believe it or not, whether it's a concrete ditch or whether it's natural vegetation of weeds and grass, it still has to be maintained to be 12 inches or below. Maintenance of weeds and grass also allow for water flow and to prevent flooding when it comes to the rainy season. Here's another example of a property that's in violation. This property happens to be a vacant lot with trees, and here it needs to be maintained 50 feet from developed areas and 20 feet from roadways. As we come to a conclusion with this exciting venture in high weeds and grass with the City of League City, if you should receive as far as a letter from one of our fellow officers, or if you should have any questions as it relates to high weeds and grass, please don't hesitate to give our department a call at 281-554-1480 with Neighborhood Services. Again, this is all about keeping League City beautiful and we're here to help. We are your friend, I promise you. Thank you for keeping League City great.